Just a quick video showing you how to set up DVB viewer for a terrestrial TV, i.e. using your aerial up in your loft. Right, first things first, which I always do, well, I'll quickly show you the website for DVB viewer, which is that one. I'll get rid of that. There is a, a demo version, so you can try it before you buy. Uh, if you do want to buy the full version, I think it's about £15, because I bought it a few years ago when it was about 12 Right, first things first you want to do, especially if you're using Windows 10, is to download lav filters, which are used by DVB viewer to uh, render the image or decode the stream. Uh, hang on, where is it? Right, there it is. So if you do a search for lav filters, you want to go to this link here, which is forumdoom9.org. So click that. Scroll down until you find version uh, 0.67 installer. So you want this link here to download. I've already downloaded it. Latest version, latest, uh, yeah, the latest version is uh, 6.7. But there are nightly builds, which I think is 6.7.22 or 2.4. So I'll cancel that. So the first thing I would do is install my lav filters. Downloads. Go levs. Go next. Yeah, just close them. You can leave everything ticked. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Go next, 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 and install. Only takes a few seconds. Right, if uh, I just go into video configuration. Right. In here, so you can use the GPU, I'm running a NVIDIA uh, GTX 750 Ti, so I've got that checked. If you're uh, using uh, Intel, the GPU, the GPU on your CPU, you can tick that. And I think if you're running an ATI, ATI card, or AMD now, you can use uh, that one, copy back. So you just uh, apply and OK, so that's done. Now let's install DVB Viewer. Right, let's go to my downloads. Right, DVB Viewer setup. Right, I click next. I accept. Click next. Next. Have a shortcut if you want one. All users. Install. Only takes a few seconds to do. Uh, I don't touch any of them, so I don't need any of them. But you can add them if you want them. Uh, click next. Uh, launch DVB viewer. That's the only one you want ticked. Uh, click finish, and it'll start up. Your language, English. Uh, I'll start from scratch because I did already have it installed, but I uninstalled it, so I can go through the setup again. So I'm going to start from scratch. Click next. This is where your recordings are saved. So you can leave it at that if you want to. Or you can change it to any folder you want to, any on uh, any hard drive you want to. That's entirely up to you. Click next. Time shift is if you pause a live program. Uh, save a file there as it's uh, recording it. You can change that to any, uh, any uh, folder on any hard drive you want to. This is the time you want to start the recording. So I always go start recording five minutes before the program. And I normally go 15 to record afterwards. So I'll click next. So you can see here now, you've got your lav filters sh uh, showing up. So I'd leave them as they are. And plus audio, it's, autom it's automatically set it as lav filters. So that's fine. You can leave uh, video render as it is. Click next. You uh, click next. You haven't got to touch any of these. In here, it's showing me the different cards I'm using. So I've got two uh, Hasselpage cards. Uh, it's showing that one twice it's because it's a uh, twin tuner. This, these two at the top are my uh, SD TV, and the PC TV 290E is for HD TV. So I'll leave them as they are. And I've um, 
I've got cable, the cable one unticked because I'm not using cable. So I'm click next. If you want to, you can use DVB Viewer to play any media on your PC. So if you want to uh, add a music folder, you can, but I don't. Movies folder, pictures. Right, launch the DB Viewer now. So we click finish. It's launching. The only difference you might get when you first install it is because I've pre-installed my license key and put in all my details, so it's automatically picked them up. But when you first install it for the first time, it's going to ask for the registration name, password and a key, which has to all match up. Right, so first things first, I always change my view so it looks cleaner. Just got to remember which ones to do. Uh, toolbar, yep, that's the one. And I'll keep the menu bar. Yeah, oh, I'll keep that one. View. Title bar. Oh, no, I don't want to go back into there. I'll leave it like that. Right, oh, I'll leave it in the center. Right. The thing we've got to do now is scan for channels. So if we go TV and video and uh, channel scan. Oh, the thing I've done as well, if I go into Options, Hardware, I have my two cards. Remember, the top two are the one are one card. It's just got twin tuners. And this card here is uh, the HD card. I have them. I have that card set as a channel group A for SD TV. And this one set as B. So it only uh, plays back HDTV. Because otherwise, sometimes, if you have that also set as in group A, you could be rec this card can also do SDTV. It may re be recording SDTV on that card, and you may also want to record an HDTV uh, broadcast at the same time, and it'll pop up saying there's no hardware to do it. So I always set them for SDTV. And this one on its own to HDTV by putting putting them into their own channel groups. So I click OK. So if we go TV and radio, uh, channel scan. I'll do a uh, channel scan for Group A. I always untick. I'm not too sure what it does, like only active channels, but I always untick it, untick it. Right for Crystal Palace, you have to change this because they changed their frequency. I think about a year or two years ago. So if you put four, and it comes up at four seven four zero zero zero, change it to four, then put an eight in, and it'll come up as four eight two zero zero zero. So you want four eight two zero 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 for Crystal Palace. Then all you want to do is scan frequency, or do I want to scan range? I'll scan range. I think I'll scan range. It's been a while since I uh, set this up, so I'll go scan range. And let it do its thing. Can take a little while, but it's not too bad. So off it goes, scanning group A. The thing it's doing is updating channels because I've already I when I first set it up, it already uh, uh saved all the channels. So normally in there it would say found new channels and there'd be a hell of a lot more. This can take a little while, so I might probably fast forward through this bit. And once you hear that little tune, it's finished. Right, the thing I always do, like Group A is uh, SD channels, which is like uh, on uh, Freeview, that's like Dave, Food Network, and a few of the others. I've got the HD card on group A, on, on group B. So the thing I do, I do a scan with that as well. So change that again to four, eight, two, zero, zero, zero. And uh, do a scan again. For some reason with this uh, PC TV card, it can be uh, a little bit slow. So I'll uh, fast forward through this bit again. So let's scan range again.
Yeah, hey, that's all done. It does take a while to scan with a 290. But so that's all done now. Oh, <clears throat> nearly burp then. Right, uh, close that. And the thing I do now is edit my favourites. So if I go uh, TV, straight radio, <clears throat> go channel editor. And this is a scan. So if I go into and right, tick the uh, star. It's already listed my favourites because I set this up a while ago. But I'll show you how it's done. So if you click the left panel and your video and audio, so I click video first, unknown, and here's a list of the TV channel, uh, the TV channels it, it's uh, picked up. So the thing, all you have to do is drag them over to the uh, favorites editor on the right hand side and just drop it in. So you can just go all over that and pick your favorite channels if you want to, or you can leave them as they are. It's totally up to you, but I always pick my favorites. And you can place them anywhere you want to. Oh, I'll move that one down. Ooh, let's have that one. I'll put it there. So that's all you got to do there. So it's listing everything and all the HD channels as well, which are low, uh, lower down. BBC Two HD, BBC One HD. Just drag them from the left to the right for your favourites. That's all my favourites done there. That's all you have to do. You can put them in any order you want. Right, so I'll close that. And then, click your favourites there. They'll all be listed. Listed, I should say. Right, so click uh, BBC One HD. Why does everything have to turn out wrong? What can be wrong with accepting cake? Maybe it's time to bury the hatchet, don't you think? You'll always wonder what you miss. Some tea, real... Finally to Middleton, finishes it off. The easy finish for her in the end, but first blood to Cambridge and they've had all the pressure. Just turn the volume down. Also I do, if you go into EPG, the window pops up. I always have it set as a uh, timeline. And then you've got filters on the right hand side, which shows all the channels, but I change that to my favourites. So that's all it's showing is my favourite channels there. You've got a week's listing, listing, listing. I can't even say the word. There. Or you can have, you've got EBG like that. Uh, what's on now. I have the timeline or TV guide like that. It's entirely up to you. But I always have it as timeline and have the filter set as favourites. So that's all done now, and I uh, hope this uh, guide helps you, and uh, goodbye.